here we have a wire that's been damaged within six inches of a termination point. Clearly it's about an inch and a half. What you need to do is drive this splice back. You're going to have to put a splice into this wire, but not at this point. Aeromotive sells connectors that come with a minimum of six to eight inches of wire lead. So let's take a look at an Aeromotive connector and then we'll show you how we're going to go ahead and splice this into the system. Here's an Aeromotive connector. It comes with a minimum of six to 12 inches of wire. In this case, probably closer to eight. So we're going to take this connector and we're going to splice it into the damaged circuit. And now we're going to take you to the video on cutting, stripping, and splicing. And voila, there you go. We spliced in a new section of wire or connector and we drove it six inches beyond its termination point. That's a quality repair. If you wanted to, you could drive that splice back even further. The deeper you put it into the wire harness assembly, the better because then you're going to go back and you're going to close that up and you're going to tape the harness assembly, reapply that split loom, and away you go. Mm -hmm.